Did you know that there is a massive junkyard above our heads? Since the launch of the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, by the former Soviet Union in 1957, the Earth's orbit has been accumulating space debris. According to statistics, by 1993, there were 7,700 pieces of space debris. In 2022, the number of space debris skyrocketed to 36,500, with a significant amount enveloping the Earth. There is a possibility that in the future, humans may no longer be able to fly out due to this space debris. Space debris, also known as orbital debris, can be classified into several categories, with the first being discarded spacecraft. When dealing with retired satellites, we typically either place them into the graveyard orbit or let them fall towards a designated coordinate, such as the Pacific Ocean's Point Nemo, where they burn up upon entering the atmosphere. However, if neither of these methods is implemented, the retired satellite will remain in orbit and become space debris. The second category is spacecraft involved in accidents. In 2009, the decommissioned Russian Cosmos 2251 satellite collided with the American Iridium-33 satellite, instantly disintegrating both and producing over 2,000 debris pieces, with a diameter of about 10 centimeters. Scientists estimate that more than half of the debris generated by Iridium-33 will remain in Earth's orbit for over 100 years, while debris from Cosmos 2251 will remain for 20 to 30 years. The third type is rocket stages. After the rocket launches the satellite into its designated orbit, the separated rocket stages are generally not recoverable. The remaining propellant, high-pressure tanks, and batteries on them can explode at any time, becoming more and smaller space debris. In 2019, a report from the European Space Agency showed that there were already 900,000 dangerous debris in space, and the number of small fragments could be in the tens of millions. What adverse effects will they cause? 7 million kilograms of space junk surround the Earth, how great is their harm? First of all, the more space debris accumulates, the higher the probability of collision with spacecraft. Their existence poses a threat to all spacecraft, orbiting satellites, and the International Space Station, and may even hinder human future space exploration, trapping humans on Earth. The astronomical community calls this hazard Kessler syndrome. In 1978, NASA scientist Donald Kessler first proposed this theory. In his view, once space debris accumulates to a certain density, a chain reaction may be triggered by an accident. For example, if a satellite deviates from its orbit or is hit by a small asteroid, it will trigger a chain reaction like dominoes, causing a large number of satellites to collide and generating more space debris. Even small pieces of space debris can damage optical instruments, solar panels, and shorten their lifespan. Most space debris orbits the Earth at speeds of 6 to 7 kilometers per second, with relative speeds to spacecraft reaching tens of kilometers per second. A 10-gram fragment can easily penetrate or even destroy an artificial satellite. Related data shows that, on average, a collision between space debris and spacecraft occurs every 5 to 10 years. By 2020, the frequency had increased to once every two years. Experts are seriously concerned about this. If humans do not take action to deal with this space debris, by no later than 2300, a large amount of space debris will surround the Earth, making it impossible for any spacecraft to enter space orbit. Unfortunately, currently there are no effective means for humans to deal with so much space debris. The European Space Agency ESA, stated that they plan to launch a robot in 2025 at a cost of 120 million euros to clean up space debris. The robot has four mechanical arms and can collect and drag space debris and throw them into the atmosphere. Russian scientists claim that they have developed a space sweeper equipped with an ion engine. When it approaches a target within 10 meters, it will eject plasma flows to push it to a designated location. In your opinion, can humanity completely solve the problem of space debris?